This extractor fan cost me £320. Let me explain how it works and you can see if you think that's worth it. This is a DMVHR, a decentralized mechanical ventilator with heat recovery. And it works like this. This part here sticks out of the microhouse on the outside and it draws the air in through here into this section here with all these tubes. Now it runs through this section here, running between and against these tubes, but not inside these tubes. It runs along here and comes out of this part here. This is the main fan unit. It has one motor, but two fans, one for sucking and one for blowing. The air that's been sucked from outside comes into this section here and gets pumped into the room out there. The inside air gets sucked in through here, passes through there, and then goes through these multiple tubes here. So the inside and outside air are passing across each other, separated but contacted. And this uses a principle called countercurrent heat exchange to try and preserve as much of the heat in, those, in, in the inside air as possible. Firstly, if we talk about co-current heat exchange, if you can imagine two fluids passing beside each other in contact with each other but not mixing, if one of them's 20 degrees, one of them's 80 degrees, given enough contact and enough time or distance, they'll eventually become the same temperature as each other. And that's quite easy to understand. Eventually they'll become 50 degrees or so. But countercurrent heat exchange runs the fluids against each other and you can completely swap the temperature of two fluids by running them against each other in countercurrent heat exchange. So if one starts at 20 degrees, it'll end up at 80 degrees. If the other one starts at 80 degrees, it'll end up at 20 degrees. They'll completely swap temperatures. And this can be up to 100% efficient at swapping the temperatures given enough contact, enough distance or enough time. And that's the principle that this uses. It runs the hot inside air against the cold outside air and tries to recover the heat from the inside air and return it to the air that's coming in. A little bit difficult to explain but I hope, you, I, hope, I hope you're following. I've built an airtight structure here so I need mechanical ventilation to make sure that the air in here is safe to breathe, that there's no building of humidity or CO2 so I need some kind of mechanical ventilation and an MVHR makes sure that you can do that with minimal losses in energy. 